I am a man of simple pleasures. I consider snowboarding a very, very simple pleasure. But it's fun! I used to play a lot of snowboarding games when I was a kid. My favorite was SSX Tricky. In fact, I think I have a frag video on my channel with the theme song for that in the background, so... Yeah, I like snowboarding games. I also like the Tony Hawk games, too. Extreme sports games, dirt biking... I uh, was never really a big fan of Dave Mira, because BMX wasn't really my thing. But the Tony Hawk games, all the way up to American Wasteland, um... SSX Tricky, uh, what was it, Snowboard 1080, I think is what it was called. I don't know, it was, uh, something that I had on the GameCube, but I can't remember what the name of it was. And, uh, there was one for the N64 that my cousin had that I spent a lot of time on. Whoa. Redo! Then. <coughs> God damn it, Cosmo. I thought we were done with you. But yeah, Ice Cap Zone. So, uh, funny enough, before I played Ice Cap Zone for the recording for my first playthrough, it took me like 20 minutes to get through Ice Cap Zone. Because, like I said, this was like the last one that I've gotten to when I was a kid. I don't, I'm not very familiar with the layout, and I'm gonna have some issues in Sandopolis Zone too, the uh, second act with the maze. Not gonna do too well on that one, but we'll see. But I actually blew through Ice Cap Zone both acts really quickly. I was surprised. I think, I think this will be my shortest episode in the entire series. Also, um, aside from some of the Eggman boxes that appear in this episode, or not episodes, uh, appear in this level, um, being not frozen, so you don't have two chances on them, you have one, or you don't have any, if you hit it, you're fucked, but, um, yeah, if, uh, aside from the Eggman boxes being unfrozen, and I think the position of one or two enemy spawns, I don't think Ice Cap Zone is actually any different. Now, the real difference that, uh, this mod offers with Ice Cap Zone that, unfortunately, uh, I'm not showing off is it gives you the ability to switch the music in it. And uh, it would be from, I guess, whatever was on the PC to whatever it originally released with? I don't know. Uh, this was the Ice Cap Zone theme that I always heard playing on the computer, so this is the one that I decided to uh, play with. And uh, from my understanding, Ice Cap Zone in general is just a good theme. It's uh, one of the ones that most people will go to if you mention what their favorite Sonic stage themes are, or even what their favorite Sonic stages are. I've heard a lot of people mention Ice Cap Zone as one of their favorites. It's fun, and I like the winter theming. Winter theming is my favorite, but... In terms of ice-themed levels in the Sonic games... Honestly... I must be having a brain fart, but I really can't think of very many. I mean, Ice Cap Zone, Ice Cap Zone in Sonic Adventure, uh... I think there was one in Sonic Advance. There was a few in the Sonic Advance series, actually. But in the Classic series, I actually think this is our only ice level. I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am, but... When I'm thinking of what comes to mind, just offhand... I know that every Mario game has an ice world, or at least they try to. Like Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. And, uh. Hell. Most of the Galaxy games and Super Mario 64. Most of the ice worlds and the Mario games I do enjoy. I like sliding around, I like the uh, slidey physics. Don't really get a lot of that in Ice Cap Zone unless you're standing on an ice block or falling down a repeated or repetitive maze sorry repetitive maze <laughs> that's not how you say words also the uh mini boss for ice cap zone is uh 
honestly, if you're willing to take a hit just to get him down, it's pretty easy. As you'll see in a second. But his whole gimmick is he pulls six or eight ice balls out of the ground and he does the U formation attack. He does that three times and then he sends the ice balls into the air and then he drops them. And they rain down from the sky and you're supposed to avoid him and you're supposed to avoid him doing his U-shaped attack. But if you time it right, you can take him out really easily like I just did. And with that, we've conquered Ice Cap Zone and we're going to move on to Ice Cap Zone Act 2. Which I blow through incredibly quickly. Which is kind of funny considering I... Again, I really haven't played Ice Cap. I'm not very familiar with it. But apparently I'm better at the second act than I am at the first. Go figure. Although it also might have something to do with me going supersonic later in the level. I, I know some Let's Players don't like to use supersonic, but I didn't get much of a chance to use him. And since we're basically going to be getting... Or we're basically going to be losing him after launch base zone I kind of took the opportunity to use it as often as I could just to show off you know I guess what he can do granted it's not really that different he just jumps higher runs faster he's just basically a better Sonic and I like the I like the concept of Super Saiyan I mean Super Sonic but um, in terms of gameplay uh, useful transformations oh hey they are frozen I swear, there's uh, one that I'm thinking of right offhand that is actually not frozen. And the only reason I even remember that is because every time I've seen it before, it was frozen. And I think it's over here somewhere. I must be. God, I feel like a li I feel like a liar. I'm a liar. But I swear, I swear, there's at least one of those boxes that's not frozen. That you, I swear I see it later in this episode, but I could be wrong. Maybe I've seen it in a different playthrough. But this is the first time I've played this one, so that would mean that it was different. My brain hurts. Who would have thought a simple box would make my brain go no? Yeah, go figure. And I don't even remember what I was saying. Curse you, Eggman! So, um, honestly, in terms of a boss fight, this one, not that hard, actually. I mean, it's annoying, but uh, you'll see, I got incredibly lucky with this boss fight. Like, we're talking stupid luck. Because if Tails breaks you out of the ice before it uh, shatters on its own, you don't take damage. And I got lucky with him doing that, like, two or three times every time I got frozen, and then it was just a matter of getting the final two hits in. But, uh, yeah, that was Ice Cap Zone, and we haven't even broken the 10-minute mark. Um, I hope you're enjoying Let's Play so far, and I hope to see you when we conquer Launch Base Zone.